Continuing our chicken saga, we now have two bags with an American barbecue sauce. Y'all know it. It's brown. It's got a white white, white label with yellow, right, yellow and red writing. And then we have a third bag with it. We add, again, it's three pieces of, it's three chicken drumsticks per family member that's eating. In our house, at least. These have half a cup of onions, diced onion, and then the sauce. The first two are, are your basic American barbecue sauce. This isn't Memphis. This isn't Carolina. This isn't Tennessee barbecue sauce. It's just the plain brown barbecue sauce that every American thinks of when they think of barbecue sauce. It ain't special. It ain't the It ain't our favorite. But it actually is kind of tasty when baked on some chicken legs. Our third one, we got something called Japanese barbecue sauce from Aldi's. It had a lot of stuff in it. We've never had it before. But we're adventurous occasionally in this house. We figure it'll taste good on some chicken. I have to remember to serve that one probably with rice instead of with mashed potatoes because I'm pretty sure we'll all go, this doesn't taste right with mashed potatoes. <laughs> but again, we did three chicken legs per person in our, that's going to eat it, half a cup of onions, and a whole bottle of sauce. Now, next I'm going to seal up my little bags. I love these things. They are reusable. And they are vacuumable. I'm going to seal them. And then I'm going to vacuum out all the air with this little thing. Love it. You can find it on Amazon. And then, honestly, I will have two more left to do. And I will be doing sweet and sour. Yep, sweet and sour chicken legs. Whoever heard of it, right? And general so stir fry chicken legs. Again, drumsticks. And that will conclude our chicken saga. <laughs> Gotta love it, crafty cats and kittens. Alright, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.